It was a battle of miniature-sized heroes at the box office this weekend, and Marvel's Ant-Man knocked our favorite minions off their first place throne. You wanna show me how to punch? Show me how to punch. Ant-Man grossed an estimated $58 million domestically in its opening weekend, marking the 12th consecutive number one opening for Marvel. <laughs> But the little yellow guys trailed close behind. Minions brought in 50 million in its second weekend. And even though Ant-Man didn't have as big of an opening weekend as other Marvel films based on lesser known characters like Guardians of the Galaxy, the insect superhero has largely won fans over. One of my favorite superhero films of the year, if not of all time, this is a great flick. This is unlike any Marvel film we've seen before. I walked out of this movie liking it far more than I thought I could possibly like Ant-Man. And based on the good things we're hearing, the film could have a strong second weekend at the box office. Finally, Amy Schumer and Bill Hader delivered spot-on comedic performances, per usual, in Trainwreck. The Judd Apatow-directed rom-com earned a better-than-projected $30.2 million, making it his second-best opening, only behind Knocked Up. Between this yeah. and Spy, I think these are the two yeah, best yeah, comedies yeah. of the summer, very easily. This is Apatow's best in a long time, maybe since 40 version. And what would a 2015 box office story be without mentioning another record broken by Jurassic World? This weekend, the dino flight passed the $600 million mark at the domestic box office, becoming only the fourth movie in history to do so. It also reached that mark the fastest, beating out Avatar's 47-day record by over a week earlier. Up next, the Jake Gyllenhaal boxing drama Southpaw debuts, and some are already calling it Gyllenhaal's standout performance. For Newsy, I'm Lexi Hammersfer.